What is going on guys welcome back in today's video we're going to learn how to create and display progress bars inside of the terminal inside of the command line using python so let us get right into it All right, now sometimes you're going to be working on command line applications and there will be a section where you do something behind the scenes, for example, loading a couple of files, downloading content, processing elements, something like that. And the user has to wait for this process to finish. So they cannot do anything while this is happening. And instead of just leaving them with an empty command line, you want to display something that indicates uh, what the progress looks like. For example, 10% of the data have been processed already. 90% is still left to be processed. So the user can know, okay, this will probably take some more time. Uh, and the best way to do that is using a progress bar. And this is what we're going to do today. We're going to create and display progress bars in Python. And we're going to do that with core Python. So we're not going to rely on external libraries. Now for the second part of this video, we're going to use Colorama, which is an external Python library, but only to add colors, the progress bar itself will be implemented um, in core Python. So we're going to start by saying def progress bar, we're going to create this function progress bar. And we're going to add the parameters here, uh, progress, and total. And total and progress are absolute numbers. So for example, if we pass something like, uh, I don't know, a 1000 elements, or let's say something like 5632 elements to be processed, this would be total and the progress would be the amount of elements that have been processed already something like 122, for example, if we just started. Um, and in order to display a progress bar, the first thing that we need to do is we need to get the relative uh, number here. So we need to get a percentage. And for that, we're going to say percent equals 100 times, come on, progress divided by total. And now in case we pass something that is an integer, we want to turn total into a float so that we have a float division and we don't get an integer just, just to make to make that sure. Um, and with that percentage, now we're going to craft a visual progress bar in the command line. And for that, we're going to use two characters, first of all, the dash for the part that is not yet processed. And then we're going to use a special character, which is the alt code 219. So we click, we, we hold the alt button. And on the numpad, we press 219. And then we get this bar symbol here. Now, if you don't have a numpad, you're going to have to Google it, or you just pick another symbol like, I don't know, star or something. Uh, but this is what we're going to use here. So alt and 219 is going to be the character. And what we're going to do is we're going to say bar equals that character. So all 219 times percent. So times how many, uh, how much percent of the elements are processed already have been processed already. And then we're going to append to this, the dash character times 100 minus percent. So everything else, basically, because 100 is the total percentage. Um, and then what we do now when we have the bar, now we craft a string that we print. So we print here, backslash r in the beginning, and then we print uh, two pipe symbols, those are going to be the boundaries of of the uh, of the progress bar. And here we're going to now this is going to be an F string here, we're going to add the bar. And afterwards, we're going to display here the percent uh, up to two decimal places. So percent to F. And the important thing is that we end this here with backslash R. Now basically backslash R is like backslash N, but it doesn't go to the next line It stays in the same line it goes to the beginning of the same line. And that is actually the progress bar function. Now, how can we use this now? How can we turn this into an actual progress bar? Now, first of all, we need an example. And for that, we're going to import uh, the core Python module called math. And we're going to just do something that takes some time that doesn't happen immediately. And we're going to say that we have a bunch of numbers. And these numbers are going to be x four, or let's go with x times five for x in range 2000 3000 like that. So high numbers, a little bit higher numbers. And then we're going to have a results list. And this results list is going to be empty. And we're going to now say for I x in enumerate numbers. We're going to add to the results list. So we're going to append here math dot factorial of x. So this is just something that takes time. This is why we take factorial of higher numbers. 
Um, and we're going to add this to the results. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say progress bar, um, I plus one, plus one, because the first element is I or, or the first element will have the I value zero. And because of that, we want to add one. And the total is going to be the length of the numbers. And we also want to initialize the progress bar with zero up here. Now, one thing that's important here, you don't want to um, run this in PyCharm, or I don't know how about uh, how it's about Visual Studio Code. But you don't want to run this in PyCharm because the command line doesn't display this properly, you want to run this in CMD, for example. And this is also usually where people will run your Python scripts, they're not going to run them in PyCharm. Uh, so we go to the directory in my case, programming neural nine, Python, current and then just Python main py. And we have a problem here. What is the problem? Yes, of course, we need to turn this into an integer. And we need to cut off the decimal places. So we need to truncate them. But besides that, this should work. And now you can see we have this progress bar, it's loading, and it goes to 100%. So this is the basic progress bar. Now, this is a quite trivial example. So let's go with something that makes more sense. For this also, we're going to need an external library, but only for the example, not for the progress bar itself. And for that, we're going to use the pandas data reader as web. So if you don't have it, you just go to the command line, and you type pip install pandas dash data reader, not underscore. So you use underscore inside of Python, but you install dash uh, in the command line. And uh, what we do now is let's define a couple of ticker symbols, Apple, for example, Facebook, Tesla, Nvidia, Goldman Sachs, and um, Wells Fargo, for example, um, and what we're now going to do is we're going to load some data and we're going to do something with the data. For example, we're going to collect the closing prices, which is going to be an empty list. And then we're going to say for index ticker in enumerate ticker, actually, let's say tickers here. Enumerate tickers, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, the last last price that we have is going to be web dot data reader, the ticker symbol from the Yahoo Finance API and whatever we get here is going to be I lock negative one. So the last element and from that the close price. That is what we want to get. And we're going to then say closing prices append um, the last price. And here we want to use again the progress bar. This is why we do enumerate because we need the index for the progress bar index plus one length of tickers. And of course, we want to start with zero. So this is how we would do that. Again, probably I should not close my command line. Let's go back to the to the directory Python main py. And you can see now it loads, it loads, takes some time to load all of that. But you can see the progress happens. All right, now let us go back to the first example here with the factorial calculation. And now let us add some color to that. And as I mentioned, we're going to use an external library called Colorama. So if you don't have it installed, you open up your command line and you type pip install Colorama like that. And all we need to do then is we need to import Colorama. And this is actually quite simple. We just have to add an additional parameter here, we're going to call this color and we're going to say Colorama dot four dot yellow is going to be the default value. Um, and all we need to do now in order to make the progress bar color colorized is we need to add color uh, Colorama dot or actually just color, because we already added that color plus that because this is a specific code that is going to be interpreted by intelligent terminals. Which brings me to the next point, the CMD command line is not an intelligent terminal. If we want to use this, if we want this to work, we need to use something like a Linux terminal or something like the Windows terminal, which is by Microsoft, I have a video on that. So you can still use the CMD command line, but inside of that terminal, right? So we can open this, we can increase the font size a little bit. 
We just need to make sure we have enough space for the progress bar. Now I'm going to navigate again to the directory. And you can see now this has a color. Now you're going to also notice that now my terminal has a color. So what we want to do afterwards is we want to, uh, after we have done that, we want to say print, um, was it colorama? Colorama dot four dot reset. I think this is what we need to do. And let's see if this is going to reset to white. There you go. Now it works. And one more thing that I would like to add here is that this should be yellow as long as we don't uh, finish. When we're finished, this should be green. So what we want to do here is we want to say if the progress is equal to total, what we want to do is we want to print that again, but this time with a different color. So color for and then or actually color Rama for and then green. So this is going to create an interesting, good looking progress bar, yellow, yellow, yellow. And when it's finished, there you go, green. So this is really professional. This is how you can do that. Um, that's about it. Actually, this is how you build this, is how you create and display beautiful professional progress bars in the terminal using Python. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.